insulin is one of the very very important topic and one to two question are frequently repeated in every alternate year uh, from insulin chapter so remember a very first question endogenous insulin secreted along with the insulin there will also be release of c peptide so if you want to check how much of the insulin is released you can actually check the c peptide that is why c peptide it is considered as the endogenous marker of insulin release now why can't we just check insulin level you might be asking sir we, let's check the insulin level how much of the insulin is being released the problem with the insulin is their half life is very very uh, shorter endogenous half life is hardly around 5 minutes they are rapidly being metabolized by the liver enzymes so c peptide is the one that you are going to measure so examiner asks which of the following is the endogenous marker of insulin release i am pretty sure all of you guys can easily do c peptide okay now who are the ideal candidate for receiving the insulin we'll talk about that but let's quickly see what are the different insulin that we have now according to recent goodman gilman now uh, they are not classifying it in a much you know branches like short intermediate long extra long nothing like that they are telling this is from the 14th edition of goodman gilman they are telling that insulin is short acting longer acting that's it shorter acting longer acting now there is something called intermediate acting as well which i'll be telling you it's a combination of it's a combination of shorter and longer acting that will be your intermediate acting insulin so this will be your intermediate acting where you will be combining longer acting 70% around 70% of them will be longer acting and around 30% on an average 30% of them will be you know shorter acting agents like your you know lente and all so they will be classified like that okay now shorter and longer acting this table again i am telling you that it has been uh, taken from goodman gilman the recent edition that came this year 14th edition okay so shorter acting may the list is same what they are in, uh, what they are going to increase here is regular also has been classified under shorter acting earlier this lispro as part b lysine we used to call them as a ultra short acting but now short acting long acting i want you to remember only two classes shorter acting we are having lag 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 that is going to be your lispro as part glulisin lispro as part glulisin lag they are the shorter acting and they are also the fastest acting they are the shorter acting and these are also the fastest acting fastest onset of action their onset of action will be within 15 minute and lasting for around 3 to 4 hours so examiner asks which of the following is going to be preferred in emergency always remember this is the one that you are going to be preferring in emergency in emergency condition like let's say diabetic ketoacidosis and all this will be the preferred agent okay less than 15 minute is onset of action then we have regular this is the iv available it's the iv insulin you know onset of action around 30 to 60 minute and duration of action lasting for 4 to 8 hours longer acting the name itself is having lot of uh, information for you to remember one is detemir the one till work till delay time glargine larger time digludec delayed and delayed der tak detemir glargine large acting digludec delayed and delayed that means very long acting right and if you want to see digludec they are lasting till 42 hours you don't have to remember the onset of action of every drug here what you need to remember which one is short acting which one is long acting that's it your job is not to write a essay in the exam your job is to identify which is the correct answer so i'll i'll be telling you which is preferred in emergency the one which is shorter acting and who is which is the fastest acting so that is lispro as part glulisin done onset of action less than 15 minute lasting for 3 to 4 hours then examiner asks one more very important question which is the overall shortest acting so look at the table and tell me which one will be overall shortest acting so whenever they talk about a drug by the name of efreza overall shortest acting it's the inhalational insulin it is the shortest acting it is the overall shortest half life it's the inhalational insulin there was one more inhalational insulin by the name of exubra Exubra was another in inhalational insulin. It is banned now due to COPD risk. They were increasing the COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease risk was very very high. That is why it has been banned now. So the one that has been approved is going to be Afreza. Another thing that you should know about Afreza that alone it is not going to be very very effective drug. Afreza will not be effective alone. 
it is not going to be effective alone so it is always given as an adjunct to it is given as an adjunct to your usual insulin okay afresa afresa is available in multiple you know color coded cartridges that i'll be telling you like blue green yellow and color coded is going to decide the different doses that they have okay inhalational so let's talk again lispro as part grelisin and regular insulin that is available also by the iv route you know also given the name of the crystalline zinc then we are having a uh, longer acting detemir glargine deglutec you know the onset of action will be 1 to 4 hour for detemir glargine 2 to 4 hour deglutec 1 to 9 hours and nph 3 to 4 hours remember but their uh, duration will be for longer time so remember these longer acting insulin they are also given a name as peakless insulin not all just these three are given the name as a peakless insulin they are not going to achieve a peak right sudden peak like they will be achieving when you give the uh, drugs like your shorter acting drugs what they are going to do they will suddenly increase the peak drugs like lispro as part what will happen when you give there will be sudden rise in the level there will be sudden rise and you know, a sudden rise in the level and then they will come down as compared to the longer acting insulin if you compare if you give longer acting one they will not achieve a play, you know, peak they will be you know they will be achieving plateau then they will slowly go down there is no uh, you know a sudden uh, peak that is why we call them as a peakless insulin this is the longer acting one l for longer acting and black wall is the shorter acting insulins okay all right so important point about this table i think longer acting shorter acting is done combination again it's a combination of a longer acting and a shorter acting example can be your uh, you know uh, lente and nph sometime is also classified under the intermediate acting but according to the recent goodman gilman book it has been classified in the longer acting because it is lasting for around 10 to 16 hours but again the onset of action is little high 3 to 4 hours is the onset of action okay overall shortest acting it is going to be inhalational insulin by the name of afresa okay now when we talk about com a combination of uh, the two shorter acting and longer acting insulin remember this will be lente this will be lente the intermediate acting so this will be a combination of two types of drug one will be your ultra lente and other one will be your semi lente now ultra lente where the larger particle is going to be crystals and they will be longer acting and semi lente the larger particle will be amorphous this will be your shorter acting one a combination of this ultra lente and semi lente in the ratio of 7 is to 3 that means the longer acting one will be 70% shorter acting one will be around 30% and this will be given the name as a intermediate acting this is exactly what i was telling you in the previous slide as well that just remember that there is something called ultra lente and semi lente in the ultra lente the larger particle is going to be the crystal okay and the semi lente means the larger particle is amorphous that is why they are shorter acting a combination of both 7 is 3 ratio mein 7 kya hoga the larger one or the longer acting one will be 7 or 70% okay the cloudy appearance of the insulin will be with the two that is nph and lente because of the zinc because of the zinc sus suspension there will be cloudy in color then i was telling you all of you guys about the afresa color coding and this is going to be your blue green and yellow three important colors blue green and yellow and their color coded is also remembered by the same way blue green yellow that is b g y and their insulin that they contain blue contain four unit green contain eight unit and yellow contain 12 units so four eight twelve four eight twelve b g y b g 4, 8, 12. So, you can easily remember BGY, BG and 4, 8, 12. So, that is the level that we have. A couple of more questions that I can add on here. That Glargine is an insulin. About Glargine, just one more information. Glargine. It is actually supplied at acidic pH. It is supplied at the acidic pH. That is a pH 4P it is supplied. Compared to all other insulin, all other preparation, other preparation that we have of insulin, they are usually supplied at neutral pH. Supplied at the neutral pH. Now, what is the advantage of this? If they are supplied at neutral pH, like let's say 7.2 to 7.4, 
these other preparation they can be mixed with each other but glargine because they are supplied at acidic ph ph4 glargine it is not mixed with other insulin it is not mixed with the other insulin if you are going to mix them with the other insulin they can actually form a white precipitate they can form a white precipitate and they will not be effective okay therefore glargine is not mixed with any other insulin glargine is not mixed with other insulin so examiner asks why glargine is not mixed with other insulin so that is the explanation why it is not mixed with other insulin i have given to all of you guys here why it is not mixed with other insulin all right then remember in the emergency situation you will be using which one in emergency situation you are going to use which one the lispro aspart glulicine and also regular what is never used in emergency is the longer acting one long acting one like glargine detemir dglutec dglutec or nph and all these are not preferred in emergency they are not preferred in emergency they are going to produce you know the onset of action is very slow and remember they are going to produce prolonged hypoglycemia so again in emergency we will not be preferring them <music>